Yorkshire, God's own country, a land of rugged beauty, rich history and warm-hearted people. Let me paint a picture of its greatness for you. Imagine rolling hills dressed in vibrant green, stretching as far as the eye can see. Yorkshire's landscapes are like something out of a storybook, with quaint villages nestled among the dales and valleys, from the sweeping moors of the Yorkshire Dales to the dramatic cliffs of the Yorkshire coast. There's a breathtaking vista around every corner. And let's not forget about Yorkshire's rich history. This is a land steeped in tales of Vikings, Romans and medieval kings. From the majestic ruins of Whitby Abbey to the ancient streets of York, history comes alive in Yorkshire, inviting you to step back in time and explore its storied past. But it's not just the scenery that makes Yorkshire great, it's the spirit of its people. Yorkshire folk are known for their warmth, wit and resilience. If you're planning to spend any time in Yorkshire or if like us you're going to move there, there's a lot you should learn beforehand. Join us on a road trip of our corner of Yorkshire while we delve into some of the things you should expect. Losses. Now then, hope you'll all eat. When we first moved to Yorkshire 20 years ago, it was a bit of a culture shock. The first thing we had to learn was the language. The first thing you have to learn in Yorkshire is how to say hello. They don't say hello in Yorkshire, they say hey up, how do, or now nah then. Another popular word is reet meaning all right. It can be used as reet lad, which is reassuring someone, or it'll be reet, to say it'll be all right. Someone says they're gonna bray you. That's not a good thing. That means they're upset with you, and they're gonna fill you in. The word snicket originates from 16th century Northern England. And although you might not hear it much around the rest of the UK anymore, it's used a lot in Yorkshire and it means narrow passageways between buildings. Another word you'll hear a lot of in Yorkshire is out, but it means something. If for example, out on your mind? And the answer might be nout. Nout also means nothing. Another word is that, meaning you. This originates from 14th century English when people used to say thou or thee instead of you. Now it's still used in Yorkshire, so you could say is there eat, meaning are you all right? If you want someone to make you a brew, you best say, are you mashing the brew? And they'll say, I'm gonna mash up a brew. That means make a drink of tea. And if someone says chuffing heck to you, it means they're surprised. If someone tells you you've got a face on, that means they think you're in a bad mood. Another word is ding, if you hit something hard or heavy. It's used in the Yorkshire dialect if someone has an accident, like, oh, I dinged my elbow, or I dinged my car, if you have a car accident. Another very popular term you'll hear in Yorkshire is I bags it at, like I'll bags it at seat. That means that seat's taken, they're gonna have it. The word chuffed is also used, which means delighted. I'm chuffed to be living in Yorkshire. If someone says you're gormless, that isn't a compliment. That means they think you're clueless or lacking in intelligence. The word lugol means your ear, so you could say, open your lugol, lad, to say, listen. 
In Yorkshire, if you want a chip sandwich, they'd ask for a chip butty or a chip balm. But if you try and ask for a chip balm down in London, you get one of those. Another word is propaganda. Let's have a propaganda out to sea. It means a good look. People don't say goodbye in Yorkshire, they say ta or Sydney. So, ta And the first time I visited this place, I almost got laughed out of the county. I almost got given my marching orders and sent back to Lancashire. I told people, I've been to Ruswarp. And they went, where the hell is that? It's actually pronounced Russop. Yorkshire people pronounce a lot of their towns and cities differently. We're gonna play a game now and you can join in. See how many get right. So how do you say this one, Julie? Barrock Green. It's actually Bark Green. What? Bark Green? You'd have thought it. How do you say this one, Nicholas? Bow sheaf? It's actually Bit Chiff. Bit Chiff? What do you think to this one, Jilly? Oh, that's an easy one. That's Bradford. No, it's Bradford. Bradford? Bradford. <laughs> and you know what we have a lot of in Yorkshire? Gates. It's time for... Gate of, of the, the Week. week. <laughs> and how do you think you pronounce this one, Nicholas? Oh, that looks like brow. No, bruff. Bruff. So what's about this one, Julie? That's another easy one, Chop Gate. It's actually Chop Yat. Chop Yat? Chop Yat. And how do you say this one? Cononly? Kunla. 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 So what do you think to this one, Julie? Dodworth. It's actually Doddoth. So what do you think to this one, Julie? Hessel. It's actually Hessel. You replace the S's with Z's. Hessel. And how do you say this one, Nicholas? Mo. It's actually Mayus. 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 And what do you think to this one, Julie? Ovenden. Actually, Ovenden. Oh, okay. And how about this one? Pontifract? That is correct, but how do the locals say it? Do you know? I don't. Pumfret. Pumfret. And what about this one, Jilly? Skisset. It's actually Sisset. You drop the C. Ah, of course you do. And what do you think to this one? Well, I've always said Revlo. I don't know why I put the LX to the V, so I'm going to go with Revlo. It's actually Revo. Sound better. <laughs> to this one, Jilly. You'd have thought it was stays, wouldn't you? We've always called it stays. We've always called it stays. It's actually steers. Oh, steers. So that's the end of the place names Yorkshire people say differently. If you played along, let me know in the comments below how many you got right. We're still learning a lot about this lovely county of Yorkshire, but we're very proud to call Yorkshire our home. We'd be reach off if you stop faffing about and ding that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See thee. See thee.
Ta-ra! In Yorkshire's song, the rivers flow from Humber's banks to where teas grow, where horses trot and terriers play and woolen wonders mark the day. O oh, Yorkshire, land of hills so grand, with moors adorned in heather's hand, where skylarks call instead of cars and peace reigns under Yorkshire's stars. When roaming days at last are through and age whispers, it's time for you. Let Yorkshire be my final bed, where sun and wind and heather spread. Beneath the sky of Yorkshire's gleam, in tranquil rest my soul shall dream, for Yorkshire's heart beats strong and true, England's jewel forever in view. Ta See thee! <laughs>